Welcome to the Secret Code Podcast's four-part tutorial series on the Secret Monero Bridge. Here in part one, we're going to be depositing our Monero, our XMR tokens across the bridge, and getting Secret Monero. In part two, we're going to spend half of our SXMR to purchase CFI, liquidity provide with SXMR and CFI, and take those LP tokens and put them in an earned contract, so now you're earning more CFI as rewards. Part three, we're going to be undoing that, getting back to SXMR. And part four, we'll be moving the SXMR back across the bridge to reclaim your XMR tokens. Here in this video, you're going to need a Kepler wallet, which is a Google Chrome extension or on Brave, and some SCRT in it for gas. You'll need a Monero wallet. We'll be using the GUI wallet because it does not work with hardware wallets. They give the wrong transaction IDs and keys and an email address. So we're going to start by going to the bridge site, which we have linked in the episode description below. Choose an IPFS gateway, click deposit and create a secret Monero viewing key. So I'm just typing in Monero bridge here and clicking this top link, which is to our secret network material. Click in this link here and boom, this is the same link that we have in the episode description. I'm choosing the top IPFS gateway. It doesn't really matter. And logging into my Kepler wallet. And so now it shows that how many secret Monero are in existence uh, here in this bridge. Click deposit and I'm auto prompted to create a viewing key. And the reason you need a viewing key on secret network again is because our contracts are private. And <laughs> so really, why don't you need a viewing key everywhere else? On Ethereum, everyone can see your tokens. Here you have to program in the ability for you to see your tokens. So uh, using a Kepler wallet, go to the secret network tab, and now you can see 0SXMR. So let's go ahead and change that. To use the bridge, we're going to send the XMR to the bridge address. We'll use the Monero wallet to get our transaction IDs and keys and plug them in. And then it'll prompt us with some data, and we're going to send an email with that data, which it's auto-prompted, and it's pretty easy. Uh, and once we send that in, it will mint our SXMR and send it to our Kepler address. So here I'm copying the address for the bridge. I'm opening up my Monero GUI wallet. I've got it preloaded with uh, a bit over a quarter of a Monero. And I copy, I copied in the address. I'm putting in 0.25 XMR, send, confirm. Yeah, again, do not use this with your ledger. And yay, and this is my transaction ID here. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy this. And paste it in here, and now we have to go back to the uh, back to the wallet, click transactions, and then go and click to reveal the transaction key. So I'll copy that here and paste it in. And now we need our secret wallet address because by sending this, it'll mint the SXMR, but they need to know where to send it. So copy, paste, submit, and uh, now that we're submitting it is setting us up with a preloaded email. So it doesn't matter where you email from, but as long as you email to that address with that subject line and all of this data as the body of the message. And I'm just gonna click the send email and use the client that's built in with my computer and a personal email address. And I, I'm a little paranoid, so I get rid of the sent from Windows mail thing, but it does work either way. And uh, the body of the message is just that data. So now you wait 30 minutes, an hour, really give it up to 12 hours before you send an email to their um, support email addresses. But then you're just going to go back and check and make sure that you have your SXMR tokens. So it's been an hour and uh, yeah, 0 0.24 SXMR. Uh, some was taken for fees across the bridge. But uh, that concludes part one of using the Secret Monero Bridge. At this point now, I've got the SNP20 tokens and can use it on exchanges like Secret Swap. So stick around for part two if you want to figure out how to liquidity provide with us on Secret Swap. And part three will help you undo all that kind of stuff. And if you just want to figure out how to go back across the bridge, go ahead and skip to part four of this tutorial series. For the community, by the community.